Okay, we'll make a start then. Um, yeah, the, the other character you see on the screen, Jacob Slater, is uh, somebody that Mark's creating because Rodrigo is in a bit of a bad way at the moment. And uh, Jim will be joining us shortly. But yeah, just to uh, a quick recap. Um, after the fight... Ah, Jim's just turned up, so let's see if we can get him in-game before we give the recap. And for those of you just tuning in... <laughs> Argentina? <laughs> <laughs> Who scored? <laughs> North Korea. <laughs> very good, very good. <laughs> that North Korea thing was funny, actually. <laughs> yeah, it's a rude. How? <laughs> I'm just typing the IP address in for you, mate. And there's a, a quick update on Fancy Grounds as well. There you go. Bop, 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 bop. Thank you. So we were just about to start, but we'll wait for you to get in game. Yeah, it's alright to start. I can do the dialogue um, while that all loads up. Please. Okay, well, well, we'll carry on with a quick recap of last session then, um, for Matt's benefit as well. Yeah. Um, so yeah, um, at the start of the session, you'd just beaten the zombie miners and the cultists in the base in the base level of the uh, the hideout. And after a quick search, Hubert managed to find a case full of dynamite, which led to groans all round. Uh, we went up to the next level of the building and found a load of captured curries in cages, <laughs> who'd all been driven mad. Um, Rodrigo tried to release the locks to the cages by zapping them with a lightning gun. Uh, but in the process, actually electrocuted three of the prisoners. <laughs> So, Twice. Um, <laughs> so rather than rescue them, again. they decided to leave them there in their cells. Oh, that chipped away at his sanity a little bit. Went up to the top floor where Dr. Robert Houston was waiting for you in his lair. He stood up, greeted you all politely, asked if you wanted a some tea, and then George shot him in the head. <laughs> <laughs> um, and whole speech oh. planned and everything, but anyway. Mr. Bond! <laughs> yeah, it was, was very much right. like that. Um, anyway, they searched the area. Uh, yeah. They found a document, which Rodrigo's currently got, I believe, uh, that he had been writing. Um, and uh, you went... Uh, after killing him, you decided to return to um, Kakakatak, having found provisions for the journey deeper into the city. And decided to go back to Kakakatak and help him in his search for the libraries and the scrolls that would allow him to return to his own time. And you basically set off into the darkness away from the lines of light, being led by Kakakatak. Um, Travelled for you don't know how long, camped several times on the way, so uh, it must have been a long time through the darkness, through the city, and eventually came upon a trap door, which uh, Kakakatak feared greatly. George felt shivers down his spine. He remembered something about the trap door, something trying to get out. <laughs> uh, and then you noticed that the trap door was open. And with a burst of stale air, a horror came out of the trap door, a flying polyp, and immediately tried to kill you all. Uh, it did succeed in driving Rodrigo mad. Um, and then George shot it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> basically with his lightning gun. Um, so there you go. That's where we finished, and that's where we're gonna start again. So you're you're still in the area by the trap door, all a bit shaken by what you've seen. Kakakatak is still shaking, um, and Rodrigo is on his stands up uh, with dirt and <laughs> dust all around his mouth and in his moustache. <laughs> He's been Chew Rodrigo Chewing on the dirt box Kakak attack speaks in your minds um, Tells you that uh, you should move From this area quickly There will be more me. I'll go over to that trap door No! Is it open? What are you doing? Yeah, the lid of the uh, trap door has been smashed and shattered and thrown back. Oh, shattered. Okay. By whatever. <laughs> well, you know what was inside. Um, right, let's go. You can peer into it if you want. Shine your torch. Yeah. <laughs> of course, <laughs> I'll do that. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> just, just 
<laughs> Just wondering if I uh, could move the trapdoor, but if it's shattered, that's not going to help. No. Um, okay. It's far too big and heavy. Even if it was in one piece, you wouldn't be able to lift it. Even the the, uh, the four of you together might struggle. Oh. We really should get a move on. Yeah, I agree. Let's rock. Really, really okay, do you shine your torch down into the uh, the trap door? No, no, I don't. I stand far back. Are you sure <laughs> you wouldn't like to? <laughs> I, I really observe that the shattered door for the trap door is there. Okay. <laughs> you carry on. Um, you don't and go to the edge. <laughs> you, can play the, you can play it back, you know, and hear whether you're lying. <laughs> as, as you move off, Rodrigo just stands there looking round dumbly at you all. Hey, hombre. Come <laughs> <laughs> on. Oh, he's just like, he knows his horses. <laughs> we, we'll leave Hubert and Rodrigo looking out for each other, the two mad people. <laughs> 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 Feel free to uh, to roleplay Rodrigo, Mark, as, as we discussed over the email. Yeah, sorry, sorry, mate. I'm... In just a second, while with some technical problems. <laughs> Again? Oh, no. Yeah, this time with Skype. Oh, okay. Cool. So, yeah, Rodrigo's just standing there if you walk off. I'd, I'm not walking off without Rodrigo. I'll uh, go over there and uh, grab him by the hand. There's lots of good dirt over here, Rodrigo, <coughs> as well. Come with me. <laughs> hey, hey, what, what you say? Yeah, follow me, hombre. Yeah, I'll, uh, uh, I'll, I'll stop get out my dust off your jacket and eating the dust off your jacket. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, I, I like this. <laughs> okay. You travel on uh, and again after a while you rest. Kakatak is more silent than before and seems more wary than he was. Although he seems still seems to know roughly where he needs to go as he leads you down the dark alien corridors of the city and up and down strange octagonal ramps into huge towering buildings. As you pass through the buildings you see tables with objects on top of them but the tables tower above you, some eight or nine feet tall. George, you remember, you're sure you've seen these tables before, but last time you saw them you weren't looking up at them, you were looking down at them. You're a ladder. It's a very odd feeling. Like well, maybe. It is. I feel like I'm there, but I'm down here. After several camps, uh, after several camps, you're not sure how long you've been travelling, but Kakatak stops before a huge building uh, that f uh, just appears grey and looks like all the other buildings in the flickering light of your dying torch batteries. We are here. Was here, k k k k k k the library. <laughs> Alphabet. <laughs> the narcotic library. Ooh. Narcotic. Is, narcotic. Is, is, is there going? To, is there going to be? Is there going to be here? The the dirt. He ignores you and just glides no forwards up the ramp and disappears into the building. You scurry What's around the right? by the side of the ramp. <coughs> Sling the lightning gun. Okay. Already. Okay, you follow him in. When you get in there, he's already busy at work pulling uh, dusty scroll cases down from holes in the walls. Um, though these scroll cases are sort of six feet long and several inches in diameter, and he's twisting the cap off one with his claws. With surprising dexterity, he pulls out parchments and lays them out on one of the large tables and starts examining them. I may be some time. <coughs> right. right, can we have a look roll for the party? Anyone can make it. Whoever rolls I'll first, I will take. I'll do it, I'm very lucky. No, no. Nice. Your dice are all white. Oh, well, I know, like, even the letters, it's quite cool. I can't see what I've rolled until the number comes up. Well, Rodrigo rolled first. <laughs> anyway. Everybody's yeah, no, that's attack. cool. Rodrigo wrote. Why, why is everybody kakak attack all of a sudden? <laughs> Fancy ground. Fancy ground. <laughs> Bugs again. Strange at times. Okay. Oh, no, not me. You crash your plane into the side of the. No. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I'm running around the library going. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah. 
So yeah, he's he is almost ignoring you now. He's engrossed in the scrolls that he's pulling down from the walls. Well, uh, just keeping an eye. How many entrances are there in, uh, to this library? The room you're in at the moment. There's the entrance you came through, and there's another entrance on the far wall that you can just about make out at the furthest reaches of your torchlight. Uh, well, we'll stay here. Um, uh, Sebastian, you keep your gun trained on the far one, and I'll keep my eye out for the door we've just come through. Gone dark. Mm. I'll pull yeah, well. a few things off the bookshelves. Is there anything that seems vaguely uh, legible? Oh, okay, you, you can reach some of the lower uh, circular openings in which the uh, scroll casings have been placed. We do a library um, use. <laughs> <laughs> you pull them down, you open, you manage to get the first one open with some difficulty, unroll it and examine it and it's just covered in the strange cuneiform runic writings that covers many of the other surfaces of the city, interspersed with odd diagrams uh, that may be mathematical or mystical in nature but you just can't tell. How big are the books? <coughs> they're not books, they're scroll cases, so they're, you've, they're like tubes about five or six feet long. Okay. And about six inches in diameter with twisting on caps. They're obviously made for creatures much larger than yourself. And inside each of them is a rolled up what appears to be some kind of parchment. Well, uh, can I take an extract from one of them? What do you mean? You want to tear a bit off? or? Yeah, one of these pictures. Okay. Um, yeah, you try tearing it, but it's, whilst it, it is as flexible and as light as paper, the material doesn't tear at all. I'll take a knife to it. Yeah, <laughs> you can take a knife to it. You can cut it. But okay, it's, so it's remarkably tough. That's remarkably tough, what, this paper. What, what, what is this? What, what is this that you have? I'll lick, lick this, uh, Rodrigo. You'll mm. love it. Start chewing it. He hadn't prepared for this. <laughs> the GM's lost for words. <laughs> I'm just waiting to see what you're doing. Kakakataki is still engrossed in the scrolls. He goes over, glides over to a far wall, pulls another scroll out. Should we ask him what he's looking for? Should we ask him what he's looking for? Yeah. Interrupt him. Well, he might give us a hint. He might give us. We could look for diagrams or pictures or something. Speed Do up the really search. Really want to delve too deep into these forgotten. No, oh, you. You. So George, like when you were, when when you were one of these beasts. Hey. Really? Oh. Yeah, you see that oh. Ted, Ted just did a massive turn. On oh, guys, hold on. AFK, the cat's puking up everywhere. <laughs> hold on. Okay. Ted just took his first steps as well. That's it. Oh wow! Congratulations. Uh, uh, Ironic, I was on the computer while Ted takes his first <laughs> <laughs> What were you doing, Daddy? I was rolling. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> first thing that Fife thought. You were there, uh, though. You were there. I, I was at least in the same building. Yeah. yeah so, so, George, like, when uh, you were one of these, like, cat cat beasts. Right. Like, who was the boss? You or him? I don't Just wondered. Remember. I don't yeah? remember. He, he was, was he? I don't remember. I don't even remember any other beings. I don't remember being another being. Did you um, did you wear the trousers that he laid out for you? <laughs> <laughs> so if he was the boss, you had to do anything he said. <laughs> Quite. I'm just gonna let you run with this where you want to go. It because it's your imagination. <laughs> I'm just I'm just wondering who's <laughs> no, in charge. Oh, no. That's all. It's just just Hold a pure the mirror to yourself. <laughs> just a pure question of you know who was giving the orders. Have had the biggest it's tentacles? I would have thought. Just for just one minute, so. Oh, one that piece. was disgusting. <laughs> Sorry about that. Nice. What did it taste like? <laughs> That's Rodrigo. <laughs> was it really jelly like? Oh, I don't want to think about it. <laughs> you feel queasy. <laughs> Can you still smell it? <laughs> Shut up. You bastard. Our cat dumped her, uh, dumped, dumped a raven on my lap about three days ago on oh, Sunday. No. Ravens are bloody. <laughs> I heard, I heard people um, talking, and the uh, at the street, they're like, "Is that, is that Oscar?" And uh, I glanced up. <laughs> There's this shadow of him on the wall, the massive head. I thought, I don't think anything of it. I just closed my eyes. Next thing, I was like, "Dump!" <laughs> it's a little wall <laughs> package. Oh, it's huge as well. How do you kill a raven? How do you catch a raven? 
That's just scary. It's not a tiger, is it? Your cat. <laughs> Three foot long gun. Right. So, have you decided what you're going to do? I'm well, he's not. He's not. So we're not delving into the uh, into the manuscript, then, are we? No, I think not. George should ask Kakakatak what he's doing. No, I'm not interrupting. You do have one manuscript you can read, which is the one that uh, Houston had written. Yeah, I want to look into oh, that one. You're welcome to, boys. I believe Rodrigo. I'll have a read. Had it. Can't can't get any worse. The longer we do this, more I believe Rodrigo had it, didn't he? Oh, okay. Oh, who's carrying the uh, who's carrying the picture? By the way, oh, I've got still got the picture. My briefcase. Well, I've got a briefcase in a cave. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> Over the I've gentleman. Got a, <laughs> I've got a brown <laughs> one on with a briefcase and a bowler hat and an umbrella. <laughs> I'm sitting like in the rain. <laughs> I was thinking we could have put the picture over the uh, shaft, the uh, trapdoor. <laughs> <laughs> if you the could. opening was far too big. Yeah, but then we just uh, put, put it in the corner. It was like a novelty item. That'd be a mystery supply for fuck you, wouldn't it? <laughs> One of those <laughs> That'd actually be the, uh, what caused the extinction of the di dinosaurs. Then. <laughs> That's just Thank our party's you. responsibility. I so, like yeah, Rodrigo's got the document. Okay, Rodrigo, what what's that document say? Eh, what? What document? That thing. That that thing. I'll uh, poke at his backpack to uh, indicate what I'm trying to try and get him to get out. There is food in here. Yeah. You want some food? I'll just give him my backpack. Cool. Cheers. And I will, in return, give him off. Some, some food. Okay. Okay. He passes the document open over to you. It's several hundred uh, neat sheets of manuscript entitled "Gods of Reality" by Dr. Robert Houston. Several um, hundred. Yes. You reckon it's going to take you several hours to read the whole thing? That's all right. I'll just turn to the back page. What's the conclusion? <laughs> <laughs> the butler did it. <laughs> <laughs> make a start. Uh, I'll make a start on it. You're right. Okay. I'll, I'll so, how long are you guys waiting cure. whilst uh, Hubert reads this and Kakak Attack continues working? I'm letting him do his stuff. Just waiting. I'm just. I'm. Mean, time is irrelevant to me. I'm just scurrying around. Well, time is almost almost cool. irrelevant anyway. Uh, it seems to pass in a, a dull blur. Um, the manuscript takes you four hours to read. Hubert, and um, Making my nails. I told you last time how it began. Do you want me to read that out again, or? Uh, yes, please. It gives you a flavour of the the way in which it's written. Um, Madness is the mark of the gods. The response to the whisper of ancient secrets and the unseen hand that turns the world in its disordered course. With it, I have peered beyond mere dream and pattern, beyond childhood impetuosity and adult grief beyond the analysis of which other men are capable. Accepting madness, I accept the gods and rule well with their gifts thereby. And it, ca it carries on in that rather um, egotistical... Um, oh, what's going on? In that rather egotistical manner for some time. Um, so, uh, first of all, it takes you about four hours to read. It conveys enough about human perception and the nature of reality for you to make a sanity check, first of all, please. No, that's far too unreasonable. <laughs> oh, no. Oh dear, that's uh, <laughs> 1d8, please. Uh, but if I'm already insane... It's a one, it's a one, it's a one, it's a one, it's a three. Oh, three's not bad. <laughs> Ten percent. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Houston establishes in his manuscript that the universe is so relative that no sane human can imagine it. Only the insane can fully understand it. In self-defense, humans teach themselves not to see evidence of this, but some truths seep into consciousness Hello. through what we understand as dreams. The document makes particular mention of three places. One is Grey Dragon Island. One right. 
is the city, ancient city of Nakotus. Where we are at the moment. And the third is the Mountain of the Black Wind. Oh. It oh. describes in detail a terrible ritual that Houston must perform on the 14th of January 1926. Oh, uh, I've got a calendar. Um, I mean, no, what I don't do think I you've do got one to hand unless you've got a diary in your uh, no, I've got a notebook. What was the date when we came down here? Uh, the date when you first ascended was... Um, something yeah. like the 12th of September, around about then. The same year? 1925. Okay, oh, so a few months ahead of ourselves. Yes, so it describes a strange ritual that Houston was supposed to perform on January the 14th, 1926, at particular moments of Greenwich time. It relates the function of several strange statues in a building known as the Purple Temple. <laughs> um, it says, at the same time, rituals will be performed on Grey Dragon Island and on the Mountain of the Black Wind, and the gates will open. At the same time? At the same time, on, on January the 14th, 1926. Which hasn't happened yet. Hasn't happened yet, no. Okay. Um, it does mention that he has taught several of the higher cult members the ritual and in case something happens to him. Mm. Mm. Um, the book, all, the manuscript also uh, details a strange uh, piece of equipment that can control minds made from a chrome shaped helmet with several electrodes leading off it. Ooh. And through the use of it, Houston has successfully zombified several hey. Kuri prisoners to serve him in his minings and diggings in the city. It also talks about the lightning guns and how they can discourage or sometimes even kill the strange flying winds. And it also details how, by Nyarlathotep's grace, Houston was able to pull a Yithian forward through time. Who Who's got a Cthulhu Mythos skill? Doesn't really know. It's going to be Kakakatak, innit? Somebody must have Smithy gone mad from seeing a Mythos beast. <coughs> so Rodriguez. I've got four. Ten, I've got. <laughs> well done, boys. Try to be Kakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakak
You there, Dave? Yeah, I'm back. Yeah, he's back. <laughs> Very good, Sebastian. <laughs> like an episode of Nigella Lawson. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, uh, so Alaska cat attack. Uh, what, what, what's, it, what's this involved then? If it's not about the chrome helmet, is it about uh, something else in the laboratory? A machine I will build that will return me home. So you're getting out of here, yeah. Hey, can I, can I come <laughs> with you? Buddy. He glides off down the ramp. Can what? I come with you? <laughs> I bet the dirty taste you have. Rodrigo shuffles out going, can I come with you? <laughs> 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 Brilliant. Are you following? Or? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, you head back. Hey, help. You don't I'll, know. I'll, uh, sorry, I'll just be describing the to everybody else in the party what I read in that scroll, so everybody okay. has the knowledge of it. Just okay, you follow Kakatak back. You're not sure. You make several camps along the way. And then Kakatak again says, Hello? We are approaching the trap door. Be careful. Mm -hmm. Lightning Let's have ready. a look roll from everybody, please. Kakatak. 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 <laughs> oh dear. Oh, the only person. <laughs> you, but you get so trips and falls down here. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Takes everybody out. Okay. You all circle the trapdoor warily, keeping an eye on it for any stray winds or dust dancing and giving the hint of a breeze. But the only dust is from that kicked up by your feet and that which falls from. Rodrigo's ever chewing lips. <laughs> okay, so you uh, you pass by the uh, the trap door and uh, and carry on. Hmm. Can I hear anything in the trap door when we go past it? Really want to go? If I can stay just, away from it. Don't. Mad. I can help I you down though if you want by giving you a push. Uh, you can make a listen roll if you want, mate. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go down there. I bet there's some nice damp there. <laughs> <laughs> Grab it. Yeah, I wonder what's down there. I'm going to go have a look. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> As you strain your ears, all you hear is silence, and then the howl of wind you idiot. briefly <laughs> passes. Oh. Party. <laughs> go. Let's get out go. of here. I'm following Kakakatak. I don't like that. Kakakatak. Okay. Yeah. You travel back, and eventually, up ahead, you see a blinding light. It's so incredibly bright. Um, and after a moment, your eyes adjust. You realise it's just the string of light bulbs. You're back there again. But after what could have been several days in the darkness, it just seems incredibly bright. And uh, Kikakatak leads you back to his chambers and starts pulling, when he gets there, he starts pulling random bits of equipment out from the various piles and taking them to a workbench. I'm going to go and sit in a corner, get out some of my rations, some dried jerky or something, and start covering it in bits of dust and okay. rubbing it on the floor. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to sort of like scrape up dust out of the crack in the corner. <laughs> You're quite getting quite low on rations now. Most, the majority of the rations you had, have gone. All oh, right. Not long. Not long for you, or not long for us. After several hours, Kakak attack glides <laughs> across to you where you're all seated on the floor, chatting amongst yourselves. It is ready. It is time for farewell. Well, thank you for your help. And, and then his bye head, bye. can I come with you? Drops yeah, down you to your height on its long prehensile stalk from the top of the creature's conical body and hovers directly in front of George. George Kirkham, you may join me if you wish. Yeah, well, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. This 
Oh, I hold that one. What? <laughs> 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 He's talking now. <laughs> Stole my microphone from me. <laughs> If I take a serious <laughs> joke. <laughs> I am. Oh. Hello. 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 Thank you. Can I have a share? You can have a listen. Okay. Hello. Say hello, hello to the boys. Hello. 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 Oh, so our special guest for this hello. session. Hello. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so the the head is bobbing I in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> right, make a sound check, Reesey. Missed all this now. Didn't say baby running around the house. No. Sorry, guys. That's all right, mate. Oh, that's, that's fine, cute. mate. So cute. Um, thank you for the attack, but I need to stay here and finish this business. Human life on this planet is doomed. Come with me, and I will show you sights you will never <coughs> otherwise <Yes>. see. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, clack, 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 <laughs> Can I come with you? I want to see what it's like in your place and what it is. There's got to be more. It's just know. ignoring you, I'm afraid, Rodrigo. <laughs> no, I, I must stay. So I right in thinking this guy, Kotax, <laughs> dragged us <coughs> all around. We've saved his ass from getting wiped out by that mm -hmm, weird yeah. wind thing. And now he's built a machine to bugger off. Yep. yep. He told you but that's he's what also, he was going to do. He's, he's also told us how to save the Earth. He has also. Yeah. He told you what you needed to do. He just said it was doing one of those things and get to Africa with it. All about the eye of light and darkness and the three points that you had to disrupt one of the rituals. And oh yeah, yeah, I totally remember all that. Yeah. He's pretty, he pretty much told us that we're doomed anyway because we're all gone mad <laughs> and <laughs> injured. <laughs> yeah. so. And Earth is doomed. Who wants to off? <coughs> okay, Kakak Attack heads back over to the workbench where there's a strange construction of brass looking pipes and cogs and wheels it looks a little bit like a larger version of the uh, instruments that uh, George peered into all those weeks ago <laughs> um, he flicks a switch with one of his uh, claws and then a light shines out the end of the uh, of the contraption onto one wall Kakak attack walks in front of the light, his shadow cast on the wall behind him, and his shadow starts to grow larger and larger and larger until the light is obstructed. And then he's gone. I run towards the light, try and jump against <laughs> and the wall. <laughs> the light I jump is also the wall. gone. <laughs> <laughs> what goes, just. just trying to batter himself against the wall for some reason. I'm <laughs> jumping up at the wall like in a star thing, trying to jump through this <laughs> Sliding like down. Portal. It's like, like a cat with a laser. So, you are now alone once again in the city. So, Kukek attacks basically told us we need to get to we Africa. Need to get yep, out. Black Mountain. Yep, right. And he also said we've got to build one of those things as well on the way. We've got to build one of those eyes of dragon or whatever it is. You could do Ooh, that can't easily, couldn't you? Can't we go back and get the old eye of dragon that was on the? Back? Yeah, well, one of the <laughs> two. We could do that, or we could didn't use it. The old we? one, or we could make one. I thought you could make the eye fairly. We'd have to go back and see Jack Brady, mate. Sebastian and Hubert. Um, you know that you took the Eye of Light and Darkness to Grey Dragon Island. You don't remember what happened to it. All you remember is running away from the volcano on Grey Dragon Island, through the forest, back to the uh, beach, and fleeing. But you didn't have the eye with you. We saw Jack Brady get wasted there, didn't we? Yeah. Was he, was he on the island and be floated off on a dinghy? We basically legged it. So, uh, don't way. forget, the creation of that took a whole cult chanting overnight. Oh, Do you not remember? Yeah. Well, I remember, yeah. We can contact that cult again. We can contact that cult again. I'll just rock up to some student accommodation, ask if anybody wants to 
Have a go on our Ouija board. <laughs> didn't they all get all that cult got wasted though? Didn't they? Not a lot of them just... were. Uh, a lot lost of them were. In they the went assault. to lie, lie, lie low for a while. There was they? a few left, and they did manage to get you out of uh, China and smuggle you out into Hong Kong, didn't they? Because um, because that Chinese uh, guy was still hunting you, wasn't he? Ho Fong. Ho Fong. Yep, God, if we go back there, it'll... It'll be... oh, he won't be after me because I'm not. Well, I have been there. Who has what? I say if we go back and um, <clears throat> try and contact that cult to see, what, first of all, try and find the thing on the island, and if it's not there, try and contact the cult and keep your eyes out. But go from shoot him. Ah, I'm glad you have returned. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen. <laughs> so, okay, so we need to get one of those eyes. Does Does anybody have the uh, the make? And we need to get to Africa. Egypt. Have we been to Egypt yet? No, nope. not yet. Yeah. Yeah, we've got to do Egypt. The, you, there was a um, Hubert. You have the uh, seven critical book s scrolls of Hassan, don't you? Which are written in Mandarin Chinese. They contain instructions on how to make the eye. Okay, so we've got like a how-to oh, book. Yeah. We need a Chinaman, don't we? Trying to be one of Egypt. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we're going to have to. Who's nobody's really going to read it voluntarily, are they? You know, you know, read this; it'll drive you mad. Okay then. <laughs> it's mad. It's just uh, it's really mad. You just need it <laughs> translating, don't you? Yeah. But we're going to have to kidnap a Chinaman, get him to translate it. Why? 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 You has obviously been driven to the edge of insanity. Why not just pay someone? No, <laughs> we must kidnap them and lock them in a cage, force them to translate it. Yeah, but as soon as if you just pay somebody, it'll like say, okay, it's ten dollars or something like that. And you'll read like page on it, and they'll go, hmm, nah, I'm not going to do this. It's a bit weird. You just explain it as a work of fiction. Give give several several people different bits of it, so they never know the whole. That's a good idea. No, and it, and it put down on the time as well. Yeah. Okay. Well, happy, to, happy to try any of those things. Just we saying. Can, last we resort. Go to a, a Western type university where just students of the language, and then then they translate it wrong, and we end up summoning something <laughs> <and> punishing <laughs> it. <coughs> oh, that's what the squiggle meant. Oh, so we got that bit. <laughs> so, so we're going to go. What the hell? Okay, so first things first, we need to get out of this place, don't we? Cause yes, how place. are you going to get out? There's one line of lights which leads back out of Kakakatak's chambers. You're all aware that you're absolutely shattered and starting to run very low on provisions. Yeah. Who's got the navigate? Oh, Rodrigo. Hey, you've got a map as well, I believe. <laughs> Is that Mark the, the straight, map? straight line? That's <laughs> Rodrigo the madman has a map. Hey, Rodrigo. Eh? What? You remember when we were above, when we were above ground? Yes, the dirt was dry in the desert. Yes. That was tasty, wasn't it? Do I? It was rocky. I didn't taste any back then. I, I only found mine. Would you like to? Would you like to try it? Yeah. Would you like to <laughs> try it? What are you planning? I th I'm thinking, should we go back above ground? What? Wait one minute, what is that on your collar? Oh, it's, oh. it's dandruff. Uh, yeah, I'll, nice. I'll pick it off your collar and eat it. <laughs> I have a dried skull. Yes. We're all starving and he's there. <laughs> yeah? Protein. So, how will we get to this dirt? We need a map. Did not you oh, make a map? Oh, well. I, I did make a map. It is here in my backpack. Oh, I'll give it to you. Show us the map. You still got it. I've sent it to you. There's a uh, I can s there's oh, yeah. a copy of it on the uh, blog as well. If you want, I can link it to you in a second. But was it was it correct? It was. Well, you'll find out, won't you? It's pretty darn good. I'm going to try. Let me see if I can. Find Wait a minute while I look. I'm the computer. <laughs> I've got more it. stuff on your shoulder. Look. Right, I don't know if the links will work in no. Fancy Grounds, so I'm going to type a link in anyway. Oh, there you go. Look. Neil? Neil? Yeah? 
I'm going to get out some tape from my bag and wrap, start wrapping it around my fingers, and I'm going to start getting the lint off Dave's jacket. Okay. You can have the jacket. Just hold my jacket. Oh, and eat the jacket. Bloody collapser, isn't it? The one that I tripped over and broke a few limbs. In fact, I'm just seeing if I can, if you give me a second, I might be able to bring it into a fancy grounds for you. Because I'm good that like be that. Awesome. Big courtyard, fleshy courtyard. Oh, God. Whole thing. Another collapse. Mine shaft. <laughs> oh, laughing at the word shaft. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, George Fearful. I think it's a pretty good map. Okay, let's see if that works. Uh, probably not, but we shall see. Get up, you stupid Germans. No, it doesn't look. No, it doesn't seem to have saved for some reason. Saw it in sunshine. Hmm. Why Telegram. Um, Tips. Telegram. No, I don't know if I can can't get it to refresh. I don't think. I'd need to close Fancy Grounds, I think, and reopen it for it to work, so... Sorry about that. Let's just assume we know the way out. <laughs> <laughs> like it, uh, okay. Well, these, li these light bulbs must be attached to the generator at one end or the other. So, let's grab the light bulb chain and uh, pick a direction. Who feels lucky? I think... Well, I've got Mark's map here anyway, so... Okay, so you follow the light bulbs out of the Kakatax chamber and you eventually reach a T-junction with a string of light going to the left and one to, to the, the left. right. Left. Can, we f can we feel any uh, breeze coming from one particular direction or the other? Hey, I have this. It might be of help if you can lead me to the dirt. I give them my compass. Oh, yeah. Okay, you pass the compass and you look at the compass <laughs> and... <laughs> It's just spinning round. It just spins well. round and round slowly. Oh no. We're in the North Pole. Um, can I make a geology roll to see what would um, have that kind of effect? Um, <laughs> yeah. Why not? Get a tick, everybody. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> yep. um, I'm not taking any part in this decision making, I'm just following them and eating. Okay, well, yeah, so the back of their jacket. Go to the generator. Have you got the map up, Jim, or are you just... I haven't, uh, but... Oh! Well, oh depending navigate! On, depending oh. on how... Uh, I've got the map up. Sort of, you know, altruistic we're feeling. The sensible thing to do would be to split and half go one way and half go the other way. No. That would be the sensible thing. Well, that, it means at least somebody's going to get out to save the world, as opposed to nobody. Yes, uh, Sebastian, you, yeah, you think it is left. You're pretty sure, you remember. Going that way, you can tick your navigate. Ah. Oh, nice! Just in the nick of time. I like it. You got a death wish. <laughs> yes. I'm not listening to you. I was just saying the sense. So, Sebastian, um, well, yeah, you think it's to the left. Yep. Oh, yes, this map. Mark. <laughs> okay. Over the next collapse. Over, yeah, that's where we, this is where I die. Okay, <laughs> so you, at the generator, you turn left and follow the string of lights to the left. Um, let's oh, don't walk up the fleshy courtyard. Oh yeah, Sebastian, uh, you've been walking along for an hour or so, and you feel something tap your shoulder. Something. Mm. Okay, I'll turn around. Hello? Rodrigo's just there, smiling and chewing away. 
What are you, uh, what are you reaching, Rodrigo? Hello, you keep walking, it is on your back. Eh? Uh, hey? I'm just going to glance down on my back and see if I can feel for anything. No, I can not see anything there in the darkness. Stop. Can you take his jacket? I'm, uh, <laughs> 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 I'm going uh, to fall back a little bit and uh, let me I'll pull, his po I'll pull one of his pockets inside out and start hooking the lint out at the bottom of the pocket. Because he's trying to walk off. Like, <laughs> pull it off his pocket. Go no, 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 stop! <laughs> no, I'm just gonna smack his hand. Naughty boy! <laughs> smack him in the face. You have no place here. I'm <laughs> gonna sort of fall, fall back a little bit, but uh, keep you within my uh, my eye line. Okay. Let's carry okay. on walking to the. Uh, hopefully, there should be a collapse down this tunnel if we turn left at the end. Okay, so yes, after an indeterminate amount of walking, you do come across a collapse in the tunnel, as George surmised, um, a pile of rubble blocking your way. Right, who here has a rope? Rodrigo. Excellent. Send him up, and he'll never come Rodrigo, back. Rodrigo, be a good sport. <laughs> Take this rope up to the top. Oh, uh, so. yeah. Okay, I'll go up to the top with the rope. Okay, let's have a climb roll, please. <laughs> oh, yes. oh it's in. You know what you know you're rolling white dice, uh, yeah. Rodrigo. I know it's it's, uh, it's a mystery there, there is an possible. option to put black letters on it. I know. Oh okay, you just decided to be <laughs> <laughs> It's a mystery that way. Add the air of suspense to proceedings. Yeah, I, it, until it comes up, I roll the dice and I really don't know what I've got. <laughs> Okay, yeah, you managed to climb up quite easily. Okay, okay. I'll take the rope with me. Well, yeah, could you make that secure at the top there? Oh boy! Yeah, uh, yeah! Take the strain! I'm strangely distracted by the, take the dust strain. from the uh, <laughs> broken masonry. I'll, sit, I'll just sit on the top of the pile and start rolling a few rocks one way or the other and picking bits out from in between them. I'll, I'll tug on the rope to see if it is actually secured to any. I'm, I'm gonna... Uh, Has it been secured? I'm sitting on it. <laughs> it's in between my ass cheeks and a rock. <laughs> between a rock and a hard place. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> bit, of, bit of rope burn there. <laughs> it's not particularly secure now, it slips a little bit. Is it, have we got any other climbers amongst us who could go? We've got, we've got 40 climbers. Can we tempt him with a bit of dirt, <coughs> do you think? I'm 80 climb, I'll do it. You're first. It's very <laughs> dangerous, it's very dangerous, you, but you might hurt yourself. Okay. Really dangerous. Sorry, yeah. I, I, okay, back in a minute, guys. So, he might. Only somebody who wants to get hurt would go up there. A ninja. I've broken my back. <laughs> Put over. Okay, nice. yeah, Hubert gets up there. If you could secure it, Hubert, and then we can get up there and try the next one. It's probably even more dangerous than this one. Okay, that seems straightforward. Sorry about that. I'll look for something to try to. I'll just <laughs> hold on to it while we... Okay. Yep, yeah, Hubert uh, secures the rope and you manage to all climb over. Nice. Uh, not long after, the lines of light stop and the, uh, the tunnel you've been following opens out into a great plaza the floor of which is glowing with a soft red glow. Um, can everybody, can, sorry, not can everyone, can the party make a look roll? Whoever wants to roll can, and whoever comes up first. Nice. Yeah. Kick -kick attack makes it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sticking to the edges, okay. suggesting everybody else should do uh, the same. Make an idea roll. <laughs> not looking in the middle. Oh dear. Oh. I came up as seventy-four for me. Um, okay, uh, yeah, you you start edging around the plaza, um, and all of a sudden it occurs to you that the the bodies from the fight uh, that you had in the plaza before are all gone. <laughs> no. Oh. The bodies, they're gone. Let's hurry through, lads. Let's go faster, quick. <laughs> 
Ooh. What's that noise? <laughs> Terrifying <laughs> scream emanates. Screaming <laughs> banshee. <laughs> oh dear. You don't like me? Oh, hey. <laughs> well, we better adopt you out then. <laughs> There's one exit score? over <laughs> towards the left. Sorry. From where you are. <laughs> Can you say that again, please? There's one exit from the plaza which is not quite opposite. Uh, where okay. you are, it's sort of at 10 o'clock, slightly to the left. You shall carry oh, on. I think we should carry straight, straight on. Yes. Yeah. Not the fleshy courtyard. Don't know. I'll go. I'll go and have a look at the exit. Well, the exit is where you're heading, isn't it? Unless you're just <laughs> yeah. going to stay in the plaza. Yeah. Oh, was well, there That was a little nibble. Didn't you say there was another exit? Yeah, though. No, the the only exit right, is too. is the one opposite from where you've come in. <laughs> but it's not directly opposite. It's about 10 o'clock. So the bit that gave it away for me, Neil, was where you said there's only one exit. <laughs> <laughs> the thing's not worth looking at then, <laughs> so I'll not do it. So you head across the plaza oh, and uh, head back into the darkness lit only by the cold light of the light bulbs. Two sex, guys. That's right. right. Up ahead, you can hear and smell the sounds of a diesel generator. Ah, oh, that's good. Can we feel uh, any wind? You're very yeah. tired now. You've been wondering. You're not sure how long, but you're extremely tired. I'll fight off the urge to sleep. I'm going to carry on. Yeah, to your right. I'm not falling yeah. asleep down here. Oh, no. Okay, you'll well, carry on. Pick up and pace a bit. Uh, eventually, pass by another generator, which is rumbling away, powering the light bulbs. Now that you eventually come to another great plaza, less well lit than the, the previous one. Um, but uh, as you approach it you can see that it is only a huge stone ring atop a gigantic, slightly pulsating dome. Stay away from the dome, people. Well, you have to step onto the dome if you want to go across the plaza. Well, this is where I went mad last time. Uh -huh. So I will just run across it carefree as I okay. like. As you do, you look down at the throbbing veins and flaccid swellings mm. inside the slightly throbbing floor. But it doesn't react, whatever it is, as you leave the plaza on the far side. Oh, you. And continue down the lines of light. Me. Okay. Yep. Uh, you carry on. I, I'm assuming you're carrying on unless you tell yep. me anything different through the darkness, yep. the interminable darkness. Okay. And then you sense that the the area you're walking through opens up again, uh, that Sounds you can't terrible. see the limits of where you are, and a strange chattering sound oh. greets your ears. Ow. The lights That's go on ahead, circling a dark pit. A set of lights heads off to the right through an exit and one through to the left. Hang on, I, I think I can hear something. How do, you <laughs> How do you feel about that tunnel to your left, George? I would like it. And You're here we yet. find okay. out that Mr. Rodrigo's map isn't complete! We're not there yet, we're not there yet. We're the whole what thing's in the hole. Yeah, but what I'm That's saying is there are two exits other than the one you've come in. One that leads off to the left and one that leads off to the right. Uh, which the right one's one? They're both lit. I'm just, I'm Rodrigo's just going to start wandering off down the right hand side one. I think it's left because you you've got an R, which going that way is an R. So coming back should be. No, left. that no that that's from the uh, bit where it says what are things in whole. Bats. That's what the R is from. Are they bats? Is that the chattering noise that we could just hear? You um, hear strange bu bubbling screams and yelps from the pit. So I guess if we go in one direction, if we don't come across a collapse, we go the other I'm way. Not, I'm not going I think we turned left and then went to the pit, didn't we? 
Oh, yeah, because we were going left, left, left. I we? think yeah, we need to point. turn right. So, yeah, yeah so right. you're right, so it'd be right, well, right, right. Well, Rodrigo's already walked off anyway. <laughs> okay. Well, Rodrigo! I think he's Wait up! Follow him. I think he's made the, <laughs> he's made the right decision. <laughs> yeah. Can you have sneak rolls as you enter the uh, chamber and not to move oh, across, please? So sweet. You're such a beer. Oh, oh, zero. Oh. Yeah, it takes it. Get in. Oh, oh, remotely oh, sneaky. No. I'm not it <laughs> okay, as you enter and start to walk across, uh, avoiding the pit, there's a slight pause in the noise, and then the yelps and the yowls start to increase in volume, as though your presence has been sensed. I'm gonna speeding run. up. Who's got dynamite? Terrible moans, cries, and growls. <laughs> One sounding like the sound of a human baby. Oh no! Just keep going. You cover your there. ears and push on past. And are you taking the right or the left? The right. Right. Okay. I'm off to the right. And uh, you head out of the uh, into the confines of a narrow passage, flanked on either side by tall buildings that the light of the light bulbs doesn't fully illuminate. Are there any uh, footsteps in the dust? There's a the dust is inches deep on either side, and there is a, but there is a well-worn trail that you're following. You can't see individual footprints in there. And have we walked past the body of anybody who the uh, light keeper yet? So Not that you have noticed. We pulled him off the we pulled him off the you side. What? Though, we didn't sleeve him. That's a nasty. <laughs> okay, and be careful because I put down one of those bear traps down here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Anybody got a ten foot pole? <laughs> 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 I excellent, you put your first. Well might, remembered. <laughs> just because you <laughs> might remember, your memory might be jogged where you put it. <coughs> if you're at the front, you might be able to give us some warning. Oh, okay, yeah. um, you That's keep really wandering, stumbling through the dust, and uh, come across some more rubble blocking your way. Mm. We did go over two sets of rubble, yep. didn't we? Yeah. I'm just going to start climbing up with a rope again. I'm not going to wait. Let's right, have a climb roll. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not. Okay. As you're climbing up, something skitters across one of the rocks, and you reach out and grab it. It's a large, wriggling centipede, albino-looking in the light of the bulbs. Oh, it's it. many legs wriggling and squirming as it tries to arch its back and bite your fingers. You're holding it in your fingers, Rodrigo. Um, how big is it? Ooh, Very poisonous. Three or four inches long. Very poisonous. Uh, and I'll, hold it in, I'll hold each end of it in between mm -hmm. both thumbs on both hands and the finger, and I'll just take a bite out the middle. <laughs> okay, <you> bite it. <laughs> its juices flow over your tongue and taste beautiful. It's the stuff of life flowing over your as the juices from the centipede flow down into your throat. But, mm. as you do so, you stumble and fall back down the, uh, back down the, the rubble. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know oh. I don't? Rodrigo, watch out! You and you bang your legs badly as you fall, taking three points of damage. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Are you all right, Roger? You're going Thank to you up, mate. I have hurt my foot. It is okay. I will see you. Yeah, maybe. Oh, you've you hurt. You oh, carry okay. on. I will see. George no, helps. He looks you at your leg on. and helps you, but you're still stuck on this side of the uh, rubble. Who's a good climber? What's his name? Hey, no, Hubert. No, 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 Hubert. Have you seen how dangerous it is going up there? You could hurt yourself, or something really worse could happen if you try to go up there. Matt, perhaps you should perhaps give it a go. You're the best. Really, not a really good sell. Yeah, but it's really dangerous. If you're mad, you're not sane now. Are you? Like, um, still mad. No, but hurting myself <laughs> isn't quite the dumb thing. Eighty-eight, you cock. <laughs> oh God! I told you you shouldn't try it, mate. What are you doing? <laughs> Oh, Hubert, don't... Oh, what are you... D oh, oh dear. Here he comes. I can't. If I go next and I fail, that's it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hubert. Okay, Hubert, you, uh... You clamber up 
Uh, as you do so, you notice two halves of a giant centipede still wriggling on the rocks. <laughs> and the, sh the, the shock of the sight makes you stumble and you also fall back down the... Uh, oh my god. And take two damage. Well, sorry about yourself there, mate. Do you want me to have a look at that? I'm, I'm getting a dab hand at this. <laughs> Not this time, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, sorry, nothing I could do there. That's a really nasty gash. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to try next? Oh, I've done it before. Oh, oh, no, look, just give me the rope. Truth. Hang on. Here we go. Oh. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> George, you're almost at the top, but the... I'm using a fake point. No, how many fudge points have I got left? How many pull points? Fudge points. That's it. Uh, Eleven. I'll use uh, one of those. Okay. I have passed my climb roll. Okay, you slip, but manage to catch yourself before you topple backwards and haul yourself over the, uh, the rubble. Did you have a rope with you? I carried it up. Yeah, you fell back down there. Surely he would have let go of the rope to try and grab hold onto the rock or something as he was falling down. Like yeah, okay. Happening. All right. He let go. He dropped the rope when he went to pick up the centipede. Yeah, he did. <laughs> he has <last laughs> <caught> the GM. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you're securing it, I presume? Yes, yes, securing okay. it. So okay, everybody manages to clamber over, though. Uh, Rodrigo and Hubert do so, grunting in pain from their wounds. How do you secure it? What knot did you use? <laughs> Reef. Oh, good. Are you carrying on? You're absolutely shattered. You're just stumbling through now, your eyes half open. Uh, we haven't got long to go. It's just one more intersection. Yeah, I think this is pretty near the start. I think you're right. Okay, you travel on again, you're not sure how long for, but the minutes, maybe even the hours, drag by. Stumbling along. Um, oh, nearly there, chaps. Nearly. And the lines of light suddenly diverge, going left and right up ahead. What do I feel about the left? Can we have spot hidden, everybody, please? Okay. Light. Oh. Oh, was it from everybody or just from everybody? Oh. <laughs> My God! Right, George and Rodrigo, let's have some luck rolls, please. How do they fit a brothel down here? <laughs> okay, because it's so close, as you're stumbling along up to the junction of where the light is. You're stumbling through the dust, and as you put your foot down, Rodrigo, you feel something oh. pressured under your foot, and you pull your leg back just in time of th as the jaws of a man trap clang shut, <laughs> echoing in the darkness loudly. That's where I left it. At least you've come the right way. <laughs> yeah. You're here, pop that back in your backpack. So, right? left <laughs> or right? <laughs> Oh, we'll have a look roll, please. Anyone can make it. You'd be right. I'm heading off to the right. Yes, go right. Yeah. Go yeah. right. Did you make yeah. the look roll? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, up ahead, you hear the sounds of a diesel generator. Yes. And after some time of wondering, you see the light seem to gl grow, and you see the remains of a demolished building, a wooden building in front of you. Let's have another look roll. From somebody? Oh, oh how lucky am oh. I? <laughs> Zero one. Okay. Is that, is that some sandbag? I'm sure that's. No, but you don't <laughs> see any cultists in the bunkhouse. <laughs> right, cool. Good really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good cactus like act idea. teleports you to the nearest hospital. <laughs> I like that. <sighs> um, the thing is, we're rather knackered, but. Wouldn't mind putting some distance in between us and this. We've got the trucks. That's easy enough to do. 
<laughs> yeah, but if we're falling asleep at the wheel, that's not a very good idea. But we've been down here a month. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I but even if it's just like half an hour, you can do what ten miles. Neil, yeah, could it just have a quick search? Oh, oh, have we have we made we made it out the uh, tunnels now. Have we? Well, you wander back past the uh, the bunkhouse that was previously destroyed with the uh, dynamite, mm -hmm. and after a, a little while wandering, you see the great stone steps leading upwards with the light string of lights leading up. And there's a diesel generator running at the bottom. Fly through, boys! Come on, <laughs> dig deep. <sighs> Let's go. Let's leave this place behind. I'm never to see it again. Are you with me? Stay with I'm me. just stumbling along. Come on, Roger, you go. You can make it. Head down, arse up. <laughs> okay. Um, we're we'll in a second. Stumble into a group of cultists. I wonder if, wonder if there's any supplies up the top that we could like. Get well, can we have a look, roll, as you approach the top of the uh, stairs? Forty-five. Bloody hell. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Bright blue sunshine. <laughs> Stumbling up, <laughs> you enter the tin shack that sits above the hole that leads down into the city. As long as we didn't enter the hole. And streaming in is brilliant sunshine. Oh. So bright, it's actually painful. Take one D two damage. And D ten Sam. That's too little. You have escaped. Rodrigo falls to his knees and starts kissing, or is it licking the ground? <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. I rub some uh, do it on my body. You have no idea how long you've been down there. No idea what the time is. Was it all a dream? Did we really do that? Did we really meet a being? In fact, even only a few minutes after emerging, it all seems like some terrible dream, some nightmare. Can't quite fathom. What? Oh. Right. Let's 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 get. Uh, let's. Uh, Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Bunker! Who <laughs> <laughs> put that there? <laughs> <Jack. laughs> right, Where did you come, you come from? <laughs> <laughs> How did you have that? How did you get that? <laughs> Does that pretty hard? <laughs> Can you escort me back to my laboratory, secret. please? It looks like when I crashed like we I got superpowers. <laughs> <laughs> so you're still huddled inside the tin shack? Yeah, I'm gonna uh, take peer peer over the top of sandbags, sneak up, peer out, with my gun drawn, and check the coast is clear. Okay. Yep, yeah. you look around, you can't see anyone there, you're squinting in the extreme light and the heat. That's the other thing you'd notice after the coolness of the tunnels below. You look down at yourself and you look almost like a ghost, you're just covered in grey dust. Oh, I start dusting it off myself and licking my palms. A small lizard skitters across the entrance of the uh, tin shack. <laughs> He's gonna grab it. Try and catch it. Uh, make a grapple. Grappling a lizard. Rodrigo leaps forwards. Takes two teeth. Grasping for it, but it skitters out of his grasp and disappears under a water bucket. Try again. I'll go and sit next to the water bucket <laughs> waiting for it to come out. Water? Oh, fill. Right, we need to fill our canteens. Uh, um, he's pop some water in the, uh, in the radiator as well, boys. Good idea. This truck's okay, amazing. your trucks aren't there. That's there are two good. trucks there, but the two oh. the two trucks that you came in are not there. Are there any tire tracks in the dirt? Yeah, there are some tire tracks leading back. Yes, away from the compound. 
Do they look like the sort of tyre tracks that our trucks would have made? Um, <laughs> make a track roll. Uh, uh. Tire track roll. It's 88. You're not sure. You're not an expert enough in tyres. They are truck tracks. That's all you can ascertain. Do they look... Uh, okay, fine. Dead end. Uh, I'll touch the engines on these trucks. Do they feel warm? As opposed to just the metal feeling warm from the sun. Yeah. The metal does feel warm because of the sun. <laughs> yeah, but the actual engine under, underneath. Okay. Um, yeah, you can release the bonnet and get under the, into the engine. Um, no, they don't feel particularly warm. How does the radiator look, mate? Expansion tag. You full? <laughs> Mr. Plumber. Do you want to open it? <laughs> you, you what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to you to look at it all, and then the lads. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sebastian, what are you doing with that? I'm just going to pop the top and see if there's enough uh, water in the expansion sack. So it's not going to overheat if we do try it. Yeah, it looks as though it's in running order. Hot fuel? wire? <laughs> Is there any fuel in the tanks? Because we've got diesel generators, so maybe the diesel, if there isn't. Could bugger them though if they're not diesel engines. So they are diesel. They are diesel trucks. Try and give it a once over. See if we can um, hot yeah, wire yeah. it. Because we're not going to have the keys, are we? So make a look roll. Oh. Do you want to? Good job. Yeah, the keys are in the ignition. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm, awesome. I'm, gonna, I'm doing a quick check of these tr of this of this um, tin huts. See what um, supplies are in here in the way of food. Water, medicine, okay. and fuel. Um, non, 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 and some fuel. Okay, right. Grab the uh, fuel, the water. You're yeah, not. I'm not going to like cut my hands and try. Uh, and the it. lizard suddenly skitters out from under the water boat. <laughs> oh, I'm going to leap it, leap it, leap it. Grapple. See <laughs> <laughs> attached to no! these. Oh no. <laughs> No, you miss and you knock the water butt over, spilling the precious fluid into the what? sand. Rodrigo! What are you doing? I'm just going to the lizard. <laughs> the lizard disappears under one of the trucks. <laughs> Where's the sun in the sky? What time does it look like? Um, you can make, let's have a think, a natural history roll. Okay, I wasn't meaning to be that precise, but that's really? fine by me. <laughs> oh, okay, if you're in, yeah, it's it's either, well, if you know, you can make a navigate roll to see which is east and west, but it okay. is relatively low in the sky. Rises in the east. Oh, you said I could make it and I didn't. So it's either just coming is up or just going down. <laughs> is my compass working? Yes, your ah, compass is working. Ah, yeah. very good. Well, the sun is in. Oh, the I haven't got it anymore though. Somebody yeah. else, I passed it to George, someone. George, George, yeah. oh, did you? Mm -hmm. All right. I shall hold out the uh, compass and uh, try and find. Yeah, the, the east. sun is in the east at the moment. Rises in the east and sets in the west, and it's quite oh. low, so it's morning. Morning. Yes. Should we should we head back to some sort of civilization, chaps? Yes. If we can, we, we can drive. Okay, there are tracks leading off into the desert. You can follow those if you want. Don't give the GM ideas. Um, we need to head back to where we came from. Anybody know the way? Mm, nah. Uh, I think we've just got to follow those other tracks, haven't we? At the very least, we're following who's pinched our truck, so we can get up, catch up with them, and get our provisions. They might lead to the secret bag, um, enemy base, though. Egypt. I think, I think we've just been <laughs> in there, haven't we? Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Can't get much worse than flying pollock. <laughs> yeah. So we pop back and make short work okay, of those so two... Okay, so the uh, truck by Sebastian is the one with the keys in. Are you all piling in? Who's going to yeah, drive? I'll Ooh. drive one of them. Skill. I don't know if anybody else has. Let's take the fuel out of one, <coughs> fill it up in one of in the one of them, 
and get some containers and empty all these generators and mm. take all the Stop uh, it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so we get all the fuel just for one truck. Bleeding. Bleeding. Uh, yeah, what containers have we got? You know, like you said, like you know, like uh, jerry cans. There's some the jerry place. cans in the other huts where the generator is. I'm not sure if they were invented by now this time, but we'll take them anyway. True, true. On the vague hope that they were. <laughs> the what, sorry, uh, yeah. the what? We'll 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 take them. We'll fill them up. Yeah. From the other truck and the generator, and if there's any water left in that water, but, but there's very little. We'll fill our canteens up from that. Okay, okay a fly ahead. buzzes around inside the uh, truck. Oh, I'm, I'm going to get in the truck. Okay. I'm try and capture it. Make a grapple. See if you can grab it. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> He's determined to get his grapple rolled. <laughs> if he snaps the keys, I'm not playing anymore. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so yeah, you start the truck up. The engine does start. Can we can we get one of those fake spiders and have it on a fishing on the end of a fishing line on a fishing rod and just hold it and lead? Like a donkey Quite with a carrot right, on yeah. a stick. <laughs> Yeah, keep us away. I'm yeah. gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pour some fishy chocolate peanuts, fill it with dust, hand it to. Uh, oh, that's the Drugos. So Hubert, where oh, are you I driving? Start chewing away on it. Oh, I'm following the uh, tracks for the other vehicle. Okay, so you set off. Um, drive for a little while, and then up ahead you see an escarpment with a narrow valley in. You remember coming this way before and getting ambushed. Shoot. Uh, it's okay. Do we'll I try drive through? Or do we scout, yeah. scout the rocks? I'll just. I'll go extra quickly. Okay. Whoa, hold on! Ah, flooring it! Yeah, you drive out. Uh, the uh, passageway leads through the escarpment to the west and then leads out into the rolling dunes of the great sandy desert. Mm. And at this point, somebody's going to have to make a navigate roll. Oh, mm. God. Do it. My space. Rodrigo had loads. Can we all have a go? Hey, Rodrigo. He's, not, Rodrigo he's not interested. He's not interested. <laughs> <He's not> interested. <laughs> hey, Yo, oh, hey, Rodrigo, do you remember the sweet, sweet smelling dirt of home? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you miss it? I'm, I'm still go? trying to catch that fly in the cab. Oh, he's eating flies. You can have one more, one more go, and then it flies out the window. <coughs> Along with Rodrigo. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> you shoot out your I'll tongue. No, um, you manage to catch it in one hand and snuffle it into your mouth and chew it. A look of ecstasy on your face as you do so. Pretty beast. But where are you heading? You can head in a rough direction. You can head roughly west, or yeah, I think we need to go roughly west. Have these tire tracks disappeared? Yes, they have now. You're oh into, the, into the the dunes, which move around with the wind. Oh dear! Oh, rock on, floor it. Mm. Which way? Which way are you in? We need roughly to head west. west, east, yeah. east, east. That's into the interior. No, we came from the interior. No, we set out from the coast. <laughs> yeah, but we're in Darwin. Darwin's in the east. What? No, we're on the west no. coast. No, Darwin's northeast. Yeah, but we came from the west coast, though, didn't we? Not if we came from Darwin. And so the investigators <laughs> were never seen again. <laughs> where's the, where's the map of Australia? Can you I, pop I've got one, yeah. I've got oh, a map yeah. of Australia. Australia Let me find it um, for Australia you. Australia players ah. up, is it? I do actually have a map which I bought in that town. So if there's any use in looking at that. Useless. Right, who's been playing with the Australian map? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need to go west of I'll Port share it. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. <laughs> 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 Stop it. Oh. Oh. We we start from Port Hedland. Yeah, we've got to get back to right. Port Hedland. The Great Port Sandy Hedland Desert is in that sort of area. 
Oh, God. To go west. So you're oh, somewhere yeah. in that circle. West. Oh, God. Head towards the, set, uh, the setting sun. Okay, you drive through the extreme heat of the uh, desert up and down one dune that looks much like another. Um, and then the sun eventually starts to fall in the sky and begins to set. Can we see lights in the distance anywhere? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. My god, 5 nil half time. <laughs> 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 very good, very good. <laughs> Okay, the sun flashes briefly as it disappears down behind the dunes. It suddenly becomes very cool out in the desert. Oh, we, we really do. It's good that we've we're not we're off the beaten track. That if we rest, we're not likely to get ambush. You should travel by night, really, though, shouldn't we? Yeah, we're fucked. Yeah, it? I mean, we're really, really tired. Sorry. It's true. Why doesn't somebody sleep while somebody else drives? I'll take the first drive, somebody else can drive after that. Yeah, right. Who's got an next drive also? <laughs> Dave thinks through whether there's a flaw in what I've just suggested. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to get us all killed by this suggestion. <laughs> You're left your own devices, but nobody <laughs> left them. Suicide was driving into the <laughs> desert. <laughs> suicide is not stupid. <laughs> I don't know, people jump off bloody bridges over roads at all the time, suicidal. <laughs> Killing families and truck drivers. How <laughs> <laughs> have we got onto this? Uh, that's a good idea. That's a very good idea, Hugh, but we take it in turns to sleep. So you're um, going to carry on driving into the night? <laughs> Should we have yeah. two in the cab? Two in the cab, two in the back. Okay, sounds good. Yep. Me and you in the cab. And Sebastian and Rodrigo in the back together. Right. Mark. Yeah. Okay, chase it off. Can I have a navigate roll, please, uh, Hubert? I'll, I'll try as well. I could lend my. Oh, if you two are awake, yes, you can both. Try. I could lend my immeasurable skill. I've got a clue where we go. Just floor it. <laughs> got okay. a clue. You go bouncing off across the. Uh, <laughs> Let's have a drive automobile roll as well. As soon as you're driving in the dark. Slowly. Keep it slow. Ooh, nice. Oh, that is the, okay. the most welcome. You oh, head I down a good. very steep dune and the, the truck begins to slide sideways as you go down, almost tipping over, but you manage to correct it and drive safely down to the bottom of the dune. You've been driving for a few hours now. Is I'll wake people up in the back, swap over. Chris Rear Russell. Okay, who's driving? Rodrigo or Sebastian? I think I should drive for <laughs> Yeah. We if we split it one mad person, one sane person, and let the sane person. And let's have a navigate roll. <laughs> or an astronomy roll. So Ooh, right on a bit. Oh right you, on never, a bit. You, you never told me I could have tried astronomy. Oh, that's not that's not much better for me. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <clears throat> Maybe Rodrigo knows where he's going. No, Rodrigo. It's a really doubt it. <laughs> I don't know. Navigate or <laughs> astronomy, please, Rodrigo. I'll maybe go around the week when I get around the week, you know, chasing the moss. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Do you want to roll your astronomy as well? <laughs> okay. Uh, Rodrigo points out that you've been heading steadily south instead of west for the last hour. Cock. You managed to correct your course and head westwards. Northwest. Hey, why don't why uh, this is just keep a compass on your dashboard. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Very clever. I am so <laughs> insane, I thought of such a crazy idea. Okay. <laughs> Looking at the stars. The sun so starts crazy. to come up it's again. so out there. That's why I came up with 
with his finger in his mouth, stick his finger out the window. He's got that. <laughs> okay, the sun starts to uh, rise again. <clears throat> How many times do I have to remind you you have compass? <laughs> I'm not yeah. doing it again, it's getting out of order. I'm writing it down. Do it. Can't the receive, sun uh, is starting to rise. Any signs of civilization at all? Nope. Nope. Oh. Can <laughs> make a look roll then? I'll give it a go. Okay, uh, and a spot hidden. Everyone can make a spot hidden. Oh no. Yeah, Sebastian. Pass. Oh. Sebastian, you notice a thin trail of smoke leading up into the sky some distance to the southwest. Ooh. Mm -mm. Bandits. Bandits. <laughs> Say nothing. Okay, the heat's <laughs> starting to grow. You're hungry. Come on, guys, let's head to that crash site. <laughs> 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 Okay, we'll head towards the smoke then. <coughs> we're, are we swapping over. Are we swapping over. How how long have we been travelling since we swapped over? Oh, it's uh, quite a while now. It's um, the next morning. So we swap hours then. Yeah, getting a back, mate. So you're yeah, heading we'll towards the smoke, or are you heading west? It's Hubert and George's turn to drive to war. What are you doing, Hubert? Uh, I'll give the driving to George. <coughs> um. I'm going to approach slowly to within spotting distance. You, here, Hubert, I've got some binoculars here. Yeah, so have I, thanks. Oh, brilliant. No, can I have mine back, please? Mine are better than yours. <laughs> um, and the monogram. Uh, I'm supposed to do with these. <laughs> okay. I'm going to try and drive to a spot yep. uh, that's overlooking the smoke. Like the <laughs> okay, and look through the... Uh, Okay, That's you look through the binoculars, the binoculars, and yes, you can make out a uh, small campfire surrounded by four tall quarries. Waste them. I don't know, let's carry on. Just Might them drive over them, George. No, those damn spears can pierce through the bloody trucks. We found that out last time. Let's look, go on, let's go. Let's head west. But they might have food. Bye. Oh. No, can't risk it. Not in the state that these chaps are in. Not in the state that I'm in. Well, you're in. Look at that. You've so still got. You've still got a, a thing sticking out your leg from last time. <laughs> no, I'm wandering over the spear. <laughs> yeah. <I need laughs> <that spear. laughs> Let's go west. Come on. Let's leave these guys alone. We can. We can lose them. But you're driving. You're driving. So it's your, your call. Well, well, I think we should waste them. God, the that's what eat, the, eat the bodies. That's what this big thing was in front of me. We're really rare. The steering wheel. Go. I'm. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna. Try and drive west. I'm not going to investigate the camp. I'm just going to leave. Okay. These friendly quarries who could have guided us, provided us. With yeah, exactly. Did <laughs> <laughs> <You're a, laughs> make a luck roll. Surely that should be good luck, not bad luck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we we're a little bit paranoid. Okay, you carry on driving west. Um, let's have uh, another yeah. navigate. We're going to. Well, I'm going to check the compass that we got on the dashboard. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! I did write it down. <laughs> <laughs> Still not okay. Doing it. Let's have another look roll then, please. Oh, I'll give it a go. Something like that. Here it comes. Oh, oh. shit. <laughs> okay. How long are you driving for? You're Three hungry, hours, tired. Six, six hours. Let's we just have woke a up drive a automobile, please. So mean. Yeah, that's my <laughs> job. Yeah, that wasn't that bad. Look at that. That was pretty good. That was. Pulpit pass. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. It's only it's only you lot in the back. You're gonna shake. Okay, out. you're driving uh, through the desert, and all of a sudden there's a loud crunch and a bang in the back of the truck, and the rear of the truck suddenly falls back <laughs> and starts dragging along the floor. <laughs> We're never gonna get out of here alive. All the hopes of high parties gonna die in the desert. <laughs> oh, yeah, look, looks like looks like his sensor's gone, mate. 
Oh, I'm just on the yeah. Stop the truck, pull the truck up, jump out and have a look out the back. Have a look where it's Okay, is the uh, suspension on the rear left has completely shattered. I'm going to try and repair it. Oh, that's the big end gone. <laughs> yeah, he's just got out of the truck. That happened to my van last week. <laughs> I can see what I can do to, to make it. Approach. Wow. Okay. Yeah, you can tick that. Oh. You managed to jerry rig some something up with some strips of metal from the back of the truck and some cables, and oh. it's going to make for a very bumpy ride <laughs> if it holds. <laughs> All right, lads. I've got these um, strips of metal. Okay. Things and it's time to change sauce. drivers. Maybe stop and have something to eat. You haven't eaten for a day and a half. Oh my yeah, God. that's that's a good idea. Is Rodrigo going to survive because he's been eating bugs? That'd be so unfair. <laughs> oh no, the good source of protein, insects and bugs. Well, he seems to know something we don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rodrigo's the only one who survived. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when he graduates from bugs. <laughs> oh, oh, oh dear. Okay. Yeah, wait the guys up in the back. Okay. okay. Time. Okay, so you stop. You find a shade... Shady, behind some large rocks, you manage to find a small bit of shade and stop for something to eat. And Rodrigo gets out the truck, stretches, and then goes wandering off to some nearby rocks and starts looking underneath them. Um, I'm pretty sure I heard something about this quite dangerous and poisonous things under rocks in this part of the world. Look, roll, please, uh, Rodrigo. Sorry, I didn't mean to give you ideas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you lift up the second rock and a snake tries to wriggle away <laughs> to the sand. <laughs> okay, it manages to burrow into the sand and disappear. <laughs> okay, gorilla pig. <laughs> oh, I'm missing some dialogue. I don't know, are you? I don't know. This is, is Rodrigo responding in chat, and I'm not seeing. No, it. Rodrigo's just rolling dice and not saying anything for some reason. Yeah. Okay. Right. That explains it. I don't know why. Are you not that? Are you not talking, Mark? Might not in Skype. He said he had a problem with Skype earlier. Yeah. He can hear us though, because he's he rolled in response to my request for a roll. I oh, did gr the grapple. Oh. Hello, try are you there? Oh. This is London calling Spain. His mic's buggered. <coughs> I think his mic's edit. If his fingers had it as well. He's not might take it a ninja. But he rolled the dice when I asked him to roll the dice. What he rolled the dice? <laughs> just, just messing with you. Uh, oh no, I can hear something. That buzzing yeah, noise suggests his not. mic's had it. Well, why isn't he typing? <laughs> Give us a message, Mark, if you're there. Type in fantasy grounds or something. Like a seance. Knock once for yes, twice for no. Okay, right, okay. He's there, that's the important thing. It's not like TeamSpeak where you can hear so <laughs> the light lights up when someone's trying to talk. Okay. <laughs> okay, you stop and you eat the last of your provisions. Oh. Take sips of water from the cans you bought with you. Is there any wildlife at all around here, or just There was not? a snake that Rodrigo just found. <gasps> oh. <gasps> is there any What's left? It? Rodrigo, he is didn't, there any, he didn't is there catch any it. It disappeared and burrowed into the sand. <sighs> so we haven't got any food at all, have we? Nope. We used to have a lady who'd come round with a tea. She'd made nice sandwiches as well. Is there any, are there any leather? Is there any leather in the car? Like, Leather on the seats. Okay, oh. let's boil some of that up. Go, uh, do you want to waste the water? Uh, you need water more than food, don't we? Yeah, you're right. Dang. You could use your urine. So, how long are you uh, 
camping for. As the sun rises overhead, the little shade there is behind the rock starts to disappear. I will wait till late afternoon. Uh, no, three. No, two, a couple of hours. I think a couple of hours. Maybe it's a bit hot now, though, isn't it? You know. Looks like Casper the Friendly Ghost. <coughs> can we can we set up some sort of um, shade using our jackets or whatever we've got? Or just underneath the truck. You can kind of get behind the truck. Though the truck radiates yeah. heat that it reflects from the sun. What about underneath the truck where the sun doesn't reach? It's stifling. What about the air which flows under the truck? What if I had two trucks next to each other? <laughs> You've only got one truck. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to <laughs> think his wishes into serenity. By imagining up another truck. <laughs> Make a luck roll, please. <laughs> yes, you have another truck. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you just eventually decide to carry on and get back in the truck. Who's driving? Uh, Rodrigo. Uh, yeah, it's Rodrigo. Rodrigo's driving. Okay. No, no, Hubert's driving with Rodrigo in the passenger okay. seat. Well, Rodrigo well. and Hubert, let's have a navigate roll. Please, I hope Mark's listening for this because we need his navigate. <laughs> Booyah. Rodrigo! Please, please, Rodrigo, nothing. <laughs> yes. The ghost <laughs> dice do it again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and a look roll from uh, one of you, please. You Rodrigo done that? Oh. <coughs> if, uh, I'll just roll and whoever comes up first. It's okay, here we go, look. Really oh, well Mr. Done. Lucky, Mr. Lucky. Okay. Okay, after driving for a few hours, uh, you a track cuts across the desert. Heading from north east to southwest. Southwest. Do you reckon? Uh, north east to southwest. No, north east. You're heading north east. Hello. Hello, Mark. Yeah. Hey, he's yeah. back. Hello. 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 We can hear you. But Yay! If we're somewhere near Port Headland, are we? North east could take us. We'll take us north, but it'll just take us along the coast. So south, west, or I know. It's north. Don't, don't we just want to go to Port Hedland because we went south for ages, don't we? It is a tricky okay. one, but it's better. It's better sticking to a track so we don't trash the truck. So, which direction are you going on the track? Uh, which options are available to us? Northeast or southwest? I don't. This this is a fifty-fifty. I think. Did I, didn't I make my roll? You did, yeah, and that's how you were lucky enough to find the track. Which you can make another navigate roll if you want. Let's all make a navigate roll. Hmm, I ponder. Okay, mm. what do you want to determine from that roll? <coughs> um, which way is probably the closest way to civilization? I don't know if I can do that. You think southwest, but you're not sure. Ooh. Looking okay. at the road, can I see any uh, tire tracks or? Yeah, the track is, the, it is tyre tracks going through the... Uh, okay. And can I tell which way they were travelling? By way of the dust sprayed up by the side of the road or something <laughs> of that nature? <laughs> Ray Mears. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you never know. That, no, know. because the sand has moved in the... Uh, and your navigate roll failed. Yeah. Oh, you've got tracking though, haven't you? Got tracking. Yeah, I've got tracking, that's what I was well, You can see the tracks. Yeah, but there are many things you can find out about tracks. What sort of... Whether they are running, walking, pregnant, mm, make a mechanical <laughs> yeah. repair roll. What? That's so unfair. <coughs> mechanical repair. Here we go. I'm going to crit it. Ow! Booyah! No, you, you can't tell which way the tracks were going. That's a foul. You think some trucks have been going southwest and some have been going northeast? Let's go southwest. Some, some trucks have been along here at some time in the past. Southwest, probably, yeah. Stick to the track because we, we can always hitch a lift if our thing breaks down. <coughs> no. Okay. So so okay, yeah. you follow the track to the southwest, was it? Yeah. 
Yeah. I yeah. think that was yeah. the only... That was the only clue. Seems the majority decision. And drive, it's starting to get dark now. Ooh, speed up. Okay. No. Slow down. <laughs> Um, and then up ahead, you see the lights of a settlement. Oh, Jesus. Off floor it. <laughs> Let's have a drive automobile roll. No. Yeah. It's rough. You're in sight of how we all die. Uh. Okay, <coughs> you, um, you, as you accelerate with excitement towards the lights of the settlement, you fail to see a large rock jutting up out of the road <laughs> and total the front of the car into it. Uh, let's have a look roll for everyone to see if you're wearing seatbelts. No, of course. Do they have seatbelts in 1925? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Sebastian hadn't put his seatbelt on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, zero one. <laughs> <laughs> you died <Okay>. so down. <laughs> Crashes. Um, oh, Crash is going to kill me. Okay. Everybody Sweet apart from Sebastian takes a point of damage. Even with my zero one. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, okay. I'll let your fat since you critted it. Was that the airbag? Was it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sebastian, Watch. roll a d one d six, please. Uh, yeah. Don't roll a five or six. <coughs> oh god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sebastian goes flying through the windscreen. <laughs> there, everyone. Oh, points. Pulp, yeah, definitely pulp point on that one, I think. How many have we got left? Four, five? You're down to five now. Look, could you pulp the seatbelt seat belt roll? Yeah, I think I'll pulp the seatbelt roll. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you just take a point Which of damage then. Okay, okay. Just the one. <coughs> but the truck is totaled. Steam and water are spraying out from the radiator. Hubert, what the hell were you thinking of? Okay, but you've made it back to Concudgery. The lights of the uh, the settlements are, you know, it's maybe a, mi a mile ahead. You can. What sort of town is Concudgery? Has it got like a sort of? It's the mining town that you left from w with Professor Dodge. The last civilized place you uh, left. The place with yeah. the warehouse and the bar. Has it got a fairly? Um, the bunkhouse. Modern it's hospital. Is it got a sort of medical centre? No, you might be able to find some quack there that can. Uh, Help. Yeah. Oh, oh, let's try, everybody, let's try first aid each other. Who lost hit points? Everybody lost hit points, didn't they? I'm nearly dead, I'm on four. I'll I'm, I'm, I'm going to wander off, Neil, round the buildings, picking up bits of stuff That's off the deep. ground. That's Sebastian. Okay. Oh, I passed on Sebastian. And then the last <laughs> one's Hubert. Oh, I failed Hubert. I pass my first aid on Sebastian. I'll try, won't I? I'll try George. But I went left to left to right. I think. Oh, George is okay. Okay. Oh, Are we allowed to do one each on each other? Is that is that allowed? Um, it is, but I'm I'm not going to calculate anything at the moment because we're reaching the end of this section. So okay, you get into Concudry, You head to the uh, <coughs> is it Bertram's out back in or is that Port Headland? Mm. Not sure. I can't tell you. We got lightning guns on it. We'll walk into town with lightning. <laughs> <Yeah>. Come <laughs> on, <laughs> fucker! <laughs> Let's rob the bank. While Mother, we... murder! <laughs> Have you seen <laughs> the size of that goddamn hand cannon? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Concudgery Grand. Yes, yeah, that's lovely. Can you still hear me okay, guys? Yeah, 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 mate. yeah that's cool. Okay, so you wander in there, and everyone stops and looks at you as you wander in, ashen faced, covered in dirt and dust, <laughs> your eyes wide, little thin trails of drool mm. leaking from the corners of your twitching mouths, your eyes twitching just as much as you're back in civilization. And then after a moment, they've seen stranger things. They go back to their games of dice and their drinking cards and they're squabbling. Is there a doctor? Well, I, think food. We, I think we survived the GM there. Just. Only just. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your plans, gentlemen? You go over, you can you can hire a room. 
You find out that the date, it's the night of the 24th of September. How long have we been Ooh. gone? Which uh, means... Three months. Wasn't it July? <laughs> it's Christmas. Okay. It means it's Christmas. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hold so on. 20, 20 what? September? You left... Con I'm just seeing when you left Concordery. <laughs> on the 7th of September. So we've been gone for two over two weeks. Right. Well, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna spend my time going around the huts trying to catch chickens and stuff. Okay, you're all aware that the clock is ticking. You have a date now that you need to meet. Yep, fourteenth of January next year. Okay, so what are you going to do? Are you going to stay in Concudry for a while? You're yeah, head we need back to, get to Port Headland. To What's the plan, gentlemen? You're going to rest up, heal up. I need a hospital. Rodrigo, you need to find a sanitarium for him, really, because he's over the first. You stay in Concudry <laughs> for a few days, and he he uh, after progressing from insects onto mice, he starts hunting local cats to eat. <coughs> Master. And he's, he soon seems to be looking for larger food, larger prey. Right, let's check him in. But there's no sanitarium in Concudry. You're going to have to head back to uh, Sydney, oh, probably. Yeah. Oh, Sydney. It's a long way, isn't it? Can we, can we get a qualified driver this time? <laughs> <laughs> to take us here? Can we pay some? Well, you can get the train back up to uh, Port Hedland and then get a steamship back round to Sydney. It's going to take a couple of weeks to travel that far. Yeah. Um, one thing yeah. that you does catch your attention as you you slowly recover and the events of the darkness of the city seem more and more like some terrible dream. You do hear rumours that um, first of all that uh, a a new ghost has been seen at Dingo Falls, the ghost of Frank Slattery. <laughs> oh, great. Um, and the second rumour you hear is of a terrible earthquake out in the uh, Great Sandy Desert. Mm. Something happened. Well, deny all knowledge. So, I take it you're going to take a couple of weeks to head back to uh, yeah. Sydney? Yeah. Can we train a skill up while we do that? Oh, I'm going to do all that stuff in a minute, mate. We'll finish. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Not sorry. Okay, and you get into Sydney on the morning of the 11th of October. Um, okay, you manage to find a sanitarium for Rodrigo, who by now uh, has consumed the ship's cat <laughs> and has been eyeing uh, Sebastian rather worryingly <laughs> over meals. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh so you get him God. Rodrigo booked into a sanitarium before he does anything even worse. Lobotomise him, please. Um, but for the rest of you, let we can. Uh, Sebastian, roll one d six, please. <laughs> when you're in Sydney, you manage to get some medical attention. Get oh, no. Ten hit points, George. One d six. Okay. Please, please. Oh, I didn't roll that few. I dropped it. Oh, come on! Oh. Oh. Hubert, 1d6. Just a plaster for you then, George. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, they may get sixes on Right, and because you defeated Houston and the Flying Polyp, Sebastian, let's have... D20. D20. Though you are aware that you still have not foiled Niall Athtep's plans oh. to open the gates on the 14th of January or whenever it is. Yeah, but that's... that's um, <laughs> so, you can have 1d8 for Houston, 1d3 for Kakak Attack, and 1d10 for the Polyp. So, uh, Sebastian, if you can roll 1d8 plus 1d10 plus 1d3. Is, it, can you, is that possible to type? You, yeah, you can put slash die 1d8 <laughs> plus 1d10 plus 1d3. So 1d8 plus what was it? 1d8 plus 1d10 plus 1d3. Oh, 
popping both three ones again. <laughs> oh. Nice. Damn it. <laughs> that didn't work, did it? No. <laughs> so, let me try it one at a time then. So that's three for the ten. Oh, ten. He's done oh, it. That's not very good. That's... I told you it was a one in there. <laughs> <laughs> it was a bit better. I got an eight. Okay, Sebastian, do you want to try and do it then? So it's a 1d8, 1d10. Yeah, use the plus it? sign, like that. Like they've typed it there. Slash die, and then like they've actually typed it. Oh, so it's no space then, is it? No, it's exactly. space. So that's 10 back for Hubert. Where are you? 10 Salati, so you're back up to 47. No, no, I've already done it. Oh, have you? <laughs> I'm all sorry, you're back up to 37. Have you done it, George? Oh, yeah. Have you added yours on, George? Uh, no, I haven't added anything on yet. So back up to 75. Oh, yeah, that's Sebastian. Fine. 32 on one now. Back up to 32. My hit points should be 9 now after that. <coughs> Your hit points should be 9, should they? You're no, watching. I already added it on, mate. Oh, just, yeah, I was watching and I didn't see it. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Okay. Yeah. So you head well. back to uh, Sydney. Um, so. Um, Mark, I'll probably introduce Jacob next session. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, but what I do need to know is what are your plans moving forwards so that I can prepare for next time. Moving forwards? Um, we need... Uh, are we going to look for this... back to Singapore and look for this thing that we dropped? Uh, it's an option. Because... We've got the instructions of how to create one of these things, but it's all in Mandarin, so... <coughs> excuse me. Let's get a Chinaman. Yeah, and the best place for Chinaman is in China. Yeah, we I've have got a feeling. We've got a, it's Hong Fo who's worrying me there, and his cult, but we hey, have Hong. got context. Hong Fo. Hong Fo. Hong Fo. Hong Fo. Hong Fo. Hong Fo. But we have got contacts, if we drop there and go straight to the military, because we've got contacts there, even though we trash one of his tanks, or tankettes. What we about, uh, just trying to go to, like, the docks or something? Just to see if we can find a Chinaman en route, basically. That's a good well, idea. Th there's actually quite a large Chinese uh, uh, population in Sydney. Let's go there. That Grey Dragon but 9... The, in the I'm not there. <laughs> Grey Dragon Island. <laughs> Put an advert in the. Ooh. <laughs> Grey Dragon Island so might simple. be crawling it. cultists, but it's our best chance to get our hands on an intact um, stone, or finding people who could speak the Mandarin to decipher the scrolls. While we hide with the military, we we've got contact with, so Hofang won't kill us. But I think if we try and go back and get that stone, A, it's going to be on Grey Dragon Island. Long time. Because it's like dropped on the... Uh-huh. Anyway. Um, Jack Brady, we saw, got nailed. Yeah. So he's not going to be over there to help us. I think we'll just end up getting killed, basically. But yeah, let's start good. fresh. I'm suicidal. Well, Why not? Well, that's yeah, good. <laughs> that sounds like a great plan. What's on the island that could kill us? Loads but of shit. The, the cultists would have swept the island clean, so I'm not really anticipating the stone to be there. Yeah, they, they, they've got their hands on that and it's blocked. But once we get somebody to translate the scrolls of how to make the stone, how the yep. bejesus are we going to make it if we haven't got people to do it? The only, on people YouTube. <laughs> the only people that we know who can make it were the cultists that we were in contact with in Singapore. Mm. Because if we land in Africa, which we know we're going to, it's we've got no contacts there. Oh, there'll be some students who can... Uh, yeah, students. We pay me a beer and I'll, uh, they'll all stand around thinking it's cool. Yeah, university dropouts and stuff. Get, get me, it's September, it'll be fresh this week. Let's it's October. <laughs> Let's have some ideas. Oh, yeah, October. Well, like I said, oh. there is a large Chinese contingent in Sydney, but... Uh, <laughs> But yeah, okay, we could, yeah, yeah, that's true. We could start with that, so that might give us some idea before we move away. We'd see whether, because if they translate it, that will give us an idea of whether it's impossible or not to do on our own. That's yeah. good, yeah. Let's do that. Yeah. That's the plan. So okay. we're looking for uh, some sort of Chinese mystic house, like the one they really sold, um, Gizmo. Well, well George, <laughs> have an idea wrong? In Sydney? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. 
Um, you think you, that maybe the Chinese embassy might? Oh be God, to damn it! Having a, a diplomat. A <laughs> Hang on, chaps. <laughs> I've got an idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, you you do you manage to uh, <laughs> to make a, a contact. George has a contact of a friend at the British Embassy who puts you in touch with someone at the Chinese Embassy, who puts you in touch with a translator. And for a nominal fee of fifty fifty dollars, they manage to translate the scroll for you, which I'm going to uh, if I can find it share with you. Yeah, no. Here we go. In blood. So there you go. I hope that's as clear as... P as uh, yeah. That's something Polyp. that's very clear. Naturally hard substance. Transcend state. Oh, do you want somebody to read that out? In a comical accent? Yes. Because I'll tell you I'm there. Yeah. <coughs> Read it, as though you are Welsh. Of those signs effectively seen in the festerings of the Dark God, the most potent is the Eye of Light and Darkness, inscribed as a substance of a high place near the haunts of evil, and no further than thirty lie from them, expels the evil strength for so long as the sign exists. The Eye must be created this afternoon before the full moon rises. At moonrise, the blood of an innocent must fill the pupil of the Eye once per drum beaten and to moon set. As the first blood is given, chant the words Sama, Sama, Tio, Sama, and continue till the moon sets. When the next moon rises, the eye opens the ward and to guard. Gather the friends of good to work this wisdom. I can't see the thing. So true, but surely fail. I've shared it with you, mate. Fail. 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 Go Good elongation of the vowels there, uh, Dave. Very good. What's uh, it called now? Seven so Cryptical Books of Hassan. It's Nile Athetep Papers number 44, if you've got that. Of those signs effectively sealing the festerings of the Dark God, the most potent is the Eye of Light and Darkness. Inscribed it! <laughs> inscribed it to the substance of a high place. Near the so we, we need a really good copy. Life and expels the evil strength. Inscribed into, inscribed into the substance of a high place. Near the haunts of evil. Um, well, Sebastian uh, and you remember conducting the ritual in uh, Shanghai, and basically uh, you got a load of people together to chant when the moon rose and the moon set over a piece of granite that had been inscribed with the eye design, each of which stepped forwards and donated a drop of blood, and it really was just a drop as they chanted. Uh, and then at the end of the ritual, the eye began to glow. Do you remember? Right. Yeah. We need some proper cultists. Yeah. We need to. Maybe, uh, maybe Africa. <laughs> but do you know any Africans? <laughs> should, we make, should we make it in Africa? Uh, do you. you uh, someone can make an occult roll, if they wish. Would that be oh. me? That will. Oh, my God. Oh. Mm. We could do, we could do it. Yeah. Oh, yes. Fast. And I was first. <laughs> <laughs> I got no idea. <laughs> no idea. George, you know. Um, that for this kind of ritual, the actual number of people uh, committing to it isn't so important as rather the strength or spirit of the people. So you could have a hundred people with rather weak spirit contributing, or just a handful of people as long as their spirits were strong enough. Buddhists, let's get some Buddhists. So or spirit read. I don't think, I don't, yeah, I don't think Rodrigo really counts. You but probably might. Me and Sebastian really. My spirit is weak. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. So. We Mind you, I do people. really believe in the good. He said, must detest evil. So we do detest evil. We need a mountain, so maybe. Ooh, maybe that could be leading us to Mountain of the Black Wind. Um, inscribed as the substance of a high place near the haunts of evil. That has got to be Mountain of the Black Wind. We need an innocent as well. That sounds like it. Buddhists! Do it. Where, where, was, where was the mountain of the Black Wind? Was it That was the place in Africa, was it, or not? I don't know. Um, an open question. Uh, are you, are yeah. you asking me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not going to tell you. In my, occult, in my occult times, have I ever heard of the mountain of the Black Wind? 
you? No, it doesn't ring any bells. Okay. <laughs> Where did you like? Right. Yeah. But that sounds like quite because it's inscribed into the substance of a high place. Okay, yeah. guys. I yeah. think we're nearing the end of this session, um, but what I do need okay. to know is what your plans, if you, you need to discuss what your plans are going to be moving forwards, because basically I need to prepare, and we it depends know. where you're going is what I need to prepare. Give us a clue. <laughs> no, it's up to you. You tell me, and then Egypt. I will prepare appropriately. Let's go to Egypt. Let's go to Egypt and make this thing. What are you going to, why are you going to Egypt? No. There's a mountain there. Thank you. <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> Should we get this eye sword out? Don't forget you have the clue cork board as well. I can I, li I'll link it to you if you give me a second. I, I think we need to. Should we take a week to discuss what we're doing or something? You can do. I mean, you can discuss it outside yeah. of the yeah. session. But I but if you take three days before making a decision, I may yeah. not be ready for next week to run it. That's oh no! no, no, no. Uh, well, well, there's no, no real rush, today. is there? Cool. No. No, uh, let's just be lucky. Let's, uh, why don't we go to that mountain and just make the eye on the mountain? And if we're a little bit early, that's okay. I know what, let's go to Helvellyn. It's lovely there. <laughs> <laughs> 44. <laughs> I think we need to... Well, I, I think our characters are going to sit down and discuss. And we need to... On the back I'm the looking, is everybody else looking at the cork board? <coughs> the toilet. If looking down the toilet. What? Sick. Right. So there you go. So yeah, if you can have a discussion over emails and things in the week. Hmm. Oh, that's cool. What? Well, corkboard. Yeah, there's loads of things on there. I need to update the Australia section of it. It's brilliant. Well, Brian blessed. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just thought he looked a bit like the uh, the guy. So sort of he like has had an interesting life, that man. The Niro no, these Nairobi, hang on, guys. These Nairobi notes in Kane in Kenya are talking about the something of the black winds, um, the mountain of the black winds. Uh -huh. Cold like Pharaoh. It is repeatedly based in the mountains, and that is the high priestess of a part of the mountain of the black winds. Elias is politely skeptical, but Kenyatta. Insists on the point. This is in Kenya somewhere, I think. Nairobi, is it? Uh, let's leave it. I'll give you a time to peruse the clue cork board and stuff as well and chat to yourselves. But like I say, I need notice before the next session because you're moving on to a major, uh, the next major section. Well, I don't think we'll be going back on ourselves. So it's either Kenya or Egypt. Egypt's sort of en route to Kenya, so let's go to Egypt. Sounds good. Well, it's not necessarily en route. I mean, it, if you're going to Egypt, you've got to go round to Cairo, haven't you? Which means... If you go to, if you go to Egypt first, it's en route. Well, from <laughs> Australia? <laughs> yeah. Google Maps. Well, I guess so. If you go east... In my balloon. Let me just see mm. where you can get a steamship from and to... Um, where are we? You can get a steamship to <coughs> Port Said in Egypt or to Mombasa in Kenya. Egypt. It's uh, from where you are. Closer. Uh, Mombasa is closer, heading west. Port that'll take about eight days. Port Said will take twelve days, heading east. Should we go to Mombasa then, seeing as they're talking about the black winds there? Okay. Yeah. Job done. Okay. Yeah. Well, Everybody's office. agreed. Yeah. Dave. Yep. Dave disappeared. Concerned. Dave was mad keen to go to Mombasa. <laughs> We're dead yet. He said he wanted to look at that picture as well before we left. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're provisionally <laughs> saying you're heading to Mombasa, but you can confirm it a bit closer to the time. Yeah? What, what's happened? Because on the cork board in Nairobi, Kenya, they're talking about the Mountain of the Black Winds. Oh, right. Oh, that sounds cool. I've always wanted to see that. 
looks like the Northern Lights. 82 minutes. Oh. No, that's right, yeah. Um, we got a translation, and it's just we can do it on our own. Oh, cool, yeah, easy. We'll take the world on. Yeah. So you're heading to Mombasa? Yeah. Okay. All right, well, we'll leave it there then, gents. You made it, you survived. Most of you made it.